How you guys doing? Welcome back to another video. So today we're gonna to be talking about Capcan. So the person who requested Capcan is three, two, one. And the person that's gonna be next is three, two, one. So if you guys want to be at them, please feel free to comment down below so that your comment will be featured because I like to see you guys in these videos and you guys contributing. Um, if you'd like to request any other sort of videos, I'll leave the link to the Discord server because it's it's easy and I prefer if you recommend the Discord server because I can take track of if someone's already asked for it or just upvote or something, it's just a lot easier that way. So if you want to request another video or a seed video, please feel free to do it in the Discord server. The Discord server will as always be linked down below. And yeah, so I hope you guys are going to enjoy this video. Hope these tips help you and make you a better player in Realm Six Siege and just you know, help you get some of that sweet, sweet, sweet MMR. Let's jump right into it. But just before we head into the tips, I thought I'd do a little bit of a biography. So, born and raised in Kharkov, Baswood is the eldest of three sons of parents who are factory workers hoping to escape a grueling life in a factory. He enlisted in the military of internal affairs and was sent to Nai Ramar, a small sea and river port town at the Barents Sea. Baswood became an avid hunter and trapper during his time in the Arctic Circle before being transferred to Besnel in 2002. So, that's just a bit of a backstory to Capcan. I thought it was kind of interesting. It's off the info page. Let's actually jump into the helpful tips. What is Capcan's utility? Your Realm 6 Siege Capcan has access to five EDD MK2s. Trap or tripwires. Tripwire traps can be placed in the doorways or windows, and once set, the trap emits an invisible horizontal laser which serves as a trigger for an explosion. I say invisible because it used to literally be like a red beam. It's now a lot easier to notice, but it's easier just to say invisible. So activation happens when an attacker touches the laser, which occurs when crossing a doorway, vaulting through a window or barricade doorway and trying a melee trying to melee a barricade on a level where the EDD is placed. Damage caused to attackers depends on the armor rating of the operator. So a one armor op is 60, two armor op is 51, and a three armor op is 45. So obviously a three armor op can withstand two, whereas a one armor op can only as long one armor as long as a two armor can only withstand uh, two. Sorry, a one armor op can withstand um, two without die. I mean, a three armor op can withstand two without dying, whereas a one armor op can only withstand one without dying. The shield operators take reduced damage to EDDs when facing an explosion with the shield. The reduction rate depends on the body parts exposed to the trap. Therefore, s standing shield operators like Anixin and Monty take more damage from ED explosion than if crouched due to lead explosion. Furthermore, fully extended Monty shield facing an EDD will take a lot less damage, and traps can also be placed at different heights. So, in doorways between head and ankle level, and in windows are, are, are unfortunately a fixed height. So, let's move on to how to use his utility. First, you want to think about the situation in which the traps are most effective. So, in rushes, if an entry fragger is trying to surprise defenders by catching them off guard or cutting off certain areas and rotations, options as fast as possible. Therefore, such attackers are less likely to drone correctly, if at all, and the entire route lowering chance of Capcom spotting traps. Carelessness, so careless players and teams who don't drone may be heavily impacted by Capcom and Realm 6 Siege operators trapped. Once inside the building, attackers tend to feel a need for being in constant motion and keeping towards the, pushing towards the objective and every second step while well, inside raises the chances for being flanked by a roamer. As a result, less coordinated teams are likely to miss traps inside buildings. And distracted enemies, attackers distracted by roamers and anchors presence are more likely to tunnel vision and pay less attention to their environment. Obviously late round pushes, so attackers will tend to wait till the last few seconds of the round, especially when things don't go their way, so such late pushes means less chance for droning and checking entrances, including EDDs and other traps. So the trap thought process. Furthermore, let's discuss thought process for the trap placement, taking into account the factors that I shall list. So which route will the attacker use? Think which route is likely to be used between building entry points and the objective. The step is essential as it requires the least basic map knowledge to determine the attacker's route from the objective site effectively. Where would you expect the, expect the trap to be placed, and if so, do otherwise? The most crucial factor of an effective Capcom trap is placement is unpredictability. Consider spots that you would check attentively as an attacker to, to the defender and the utilities 
or if the spot is droned out a lot. So two usual spots that are specifically droned out a lot are entry to the building and entry to the objectives. So attackers can use the drone entry points of the building to avoid ambushes set by roamers. So objective entries on the other hand are extremely common spots for placing defensive traps. Location adjacent location adjacent to the objective is often a location where attackers will spend a significant amount of time, make it less likely for a trap to remain unnoticed. How can a trap provide anti-intel? On top of damage attackers, damaging attackers, traps can also sev have severe anti-intel gaining functionalities. Cat can uses traps in certain areas to gain intel about attackers approaching from that direction. As, as a result, cat tripwires can assist as a flank watch, similarly to a claymore on the attacking side, placing traps or in a doorway that can be used for an attacker to flank you. Unlike Legion or Capcan, doesn't have a UI indicator for traps, thus gathering intel should be done through their placement, so traps should be placed in a particular area which indicates where enemies are, or when the defender has visual and or audio cue from the EDD explosion. What placements would make a trap difficult to spot to deal with? EDDs can be placed in both sides of the frame, left or right side of different heights. The side of the frame is the most time, most of the time no-brainer. You want the visible part of the top to be out the opposite side for where the attackers come from. The usual height for a doorway is placement is leg height, as placing the trap higher might result in the attacker avoiding the trap by crouch walking or proning. The usual height for a doorway placement is um, as I said, leg height, and we also need to take into account the angle required for the attacker to shoot the trap when placing it. Place the trap on the side where they will force them to expose the most potential, uh, most to a potential defender, and it's not going to immediately be uh, visible when holding the angle. So try get a one where the defender won't be immediately visible, but the attacker will. As an extension, consider that the traps may be detected. The trap placed in a location where it's unlikely to surprise an attacker but force them to expend utility. For example, breach mode for ash can be used for as well. Why would attackers use such utility and not shoot the trap due to the potential risk of being shot in the process? Now for interactions and synergies. In Rome 6 Siege, Capcan does not have any specific synergies with other operators as explosion in the trap destroys friendly utility placed within the effective blast radius. In counters, Rome 6 Siege is not a very specific hard counter, however it's very effective against enemies who are rushing, careless or under time pressure. But as most of these people were counted by IQ, Twitch, Thatcher, Ash, and Sophia, and Frags, and Capcan also, Cap can Tripwise can also be shot by a bullet. Well, I hope you guys did enjoy. I'll see you all in the next one. If you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button. It'd be much appreciated. And I'll see every single one of you in the next one. Stay safe and bye-bye.